Hi, let's see today about TCP IP protocols. What is a protocol? A protocol is nothing but a set of rules or conventions that are required to communicate in a network. Okay, TCP IP OSI. So what what is all this about? Coming to TCP application based protocols. How does TCP IP works? TCP IP is nothing but uh, how you can say is a user terminal. A user terminal is nothing but a machine, a computer system and a user is working on the computer system. He wants to work on a remote computer that is a computer system where a host where an application or a total server is based you want to work on another remote computer uh, if a system is uh, uh, in one premises he wants to, to access a system which is located on another premises uh, we need a communication network to access that system this tcp ip helps us to access the system how does it, is that done every the remote desktop that needs to be accessed uh, that file that server will be uh, will be taken up in the network uh, as uh, uh, will be taken up in the network as a network address a worldwide network address would have been assigned this worldwide network address would have would be changed into an ip how it is done through a process known as D dns dynamic name server exchange so by which uh, a uh, remote desktop like a system in another premises uh, they will be located an IP address uh, if I am at system if I am at premises number one uh, and the another system is at premises number two premises number two system uh, has been located an IP address and a port uh, in which uh, it uh, would be running it all the applications inside it uh, would be running so the TCP IP so how this communication from your premises 1 to premises 2 is done now plays the role of the tcp ip tcp ip is nothing but the connection connection between from premises 1 system to the premises 2 system the how the, pro, the premises 2 system is accessed via an ip address through, through that ip address and port by accessing that IP address and port from the first system from premises number one, premises number two system can be accessed. So, but for accessing this uh, premises number two system, there are the application protocols that uh, many protocols are used like Telnet, FTP, SMTP, SNMP. Okay, what is a Telnet protocol? It enables a user at a terminal on one machine to communicate interactively with an application process such as a text editor running on a remote machine as if the user terminal were directly connected to it. What is the file transfer protocol? It enables a user at a terminal to access and interact with a remote file system. SMTP simple mail transfer protocol it provides a network wide mail transfer service between the mail system associated with different machines SNMP simple network management protocol it enables the user to access a network to gather its performance data or to control the operation of a network element or the network itself so how this a uh, transport connection is done as I said earlier all server application process have an associated name what translates what translates into a corresponding network wide address the translation procedure carried out by a process known as the domain name server the resulting network wide address of a server process consists of two parts the network wide ip address of the host in which the process is running and the local port number the IP address is used by the IP in each internet gateway to route datagrams across the network to required destination host. The port number is used by the TCP IP within the host or the UDP if this is being used to identify the specific process within that host to which a received message should be sent. 
as an open system includes multiple clients and servers both of different types F FTP SMTP and of the same type or all servers are of the same type and assign the same system wide port number a specific server is then identified by the IP address of the host in which it runs the port number associated with the different server types are known as well-known ports like FTP will have port number 21, Telnet 22, ASMTV 25. So when a client process initiates a call to a corresponding server process, it uses a destination address, the IP address of the host in which the server is running coupled with the well-known port number of that server. As a source 